Hello, and welcome to another exciting, not so exciting, episode of The Ramen Ronin. Today, we're going to take a look at Snapdragon Miso Ramen Rich Miso Broth with Authentic Ramen Noodles. Authentic Ramen Noodles. Um, funny choice of words. It does say Sapporo. Sapporo style. So, uh, curious to see what's going to be in here. Because, uh, from my understanding, things like, uh, well, it's even on the label here. Corn. Corn is a common topping in Sapporo. I don't know if there's any corn in here. I've never had this before. Uh, picked it up at a local retail outlet. And, uh, you just never know where you're going to find at these places. I did get a bunch of uh, pho uh, by the same company and uh, tried it. Hopefully we'll get some better results with this. Let's find out. Okay, let's crack this open. See what we are looking at. The instructions do, they do have two different ways of cooking this. Already it's reminding me a lot of Mama ramen thinner noodles um not as big as your normal instant ramen noodles i'm thinking these might expand just as much as the mama noodles did is there corn and i see <laughs> three three kernels of corn um uh, could have done better on that actual sauce in the sauce pack this is not dry so that will be interesting and I believe this is the chili ginger oil so uh, this is gonna be a lot of our spices and the fat on top I will say I feel like miso is an underrated ramen you don't really hear about it too much you hear a lot about tonkatsu um, chicken um, not so much beef and not so much miso. Uh, I feel like this is usually referred to as the vegan ramen. Uh, pour contents into bowl. We're going to use the microwave method. I really, I don't usually have that much success with getting the type of noodles that I want when I add boiling water and let it sit. So, it's definitely a red miso. It's the stuff I like. And we're gonna add the oil afterwards. Two and a half minutes later. Okay. Let's see what we have going on in here. Still boiling. Okay, so what does the end product look like? Eh, your your average stereotypical instant ramen in a cup. Although I am seeing, I might have to let this sit. A little while longer. It looks like the noodles on top did not fully cook. And these did not expand as much as I thought they would. Um, they're not as thin as the mama noodles, but also visually appealing, not so great. the oil uh, who are they making this for is this supposed to be like child proof okay these serrated things are are not working whoever runs your company Take some notes. This is this is not happening. If I do actually like get this open, it's gonna splatter all over me. And the 
cats are going to be happy that I did that. Yes, teach them to open stuff with their teeth. Or make more money. Not that much oil. Not that you need a lot, especially when it's ginger and chili. Okay. Let it sit for a little bit. Okay. That whole one minute thing of, uh, once you take it out of the microwave, let it sit for a minute to cool. It's not one minute. It never is. Uh, it's, I don't know why they put that on there. Maybe, uh, maybe the instructions that say, let it sit to cool. Um, add ice if needed. Uh, it's still pretty hot. But I'm going to try to take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Not really tasting the broth so much as the um, chili oil. Getting a lot of heat from the chili oil. Um, not bad. Um, not overly offensive. Uh, it's not like painful or anything. I am a little confused at some of the other ingredients they have in here. They've got the, um, well, your dried green onion, that's fairly common. Carrots, that's common. Then there's the sesame seeds, which they don't stick to anything. They just end up at the bottom of the bowl. Other than looking authentic, I don't know why they add that. Hmm. I am still not getting um, the miso flavor, which is uh, kind of disappointing. The uh, the oil floating on top that's uh, looks pretty good. I do like that. Makes it look like a nice bowl of ramen. Gotta have that fat rolling on top. Mmm. I'm just gonna have to start slurping the broth because, uh, they, well. <clears throat> the flavoring is not sticking to the noodles. So what I'm getting is basically wheat noodles with some um, some heat due to the, the oil. That's about it. So overall the broth looks really good. Check this out. So we've got some uh, nice, decent color in there. Got the uh, oil on top. And uh, let it cool down a bit more and see if it's slurpable. Okay, so. Definitely getting the miso flavor now. That's um, pretty good. <clears throat> definitely um, has a lot of salt to it um, not as bad as some others I've had what is the sodium on here oh 990 milligrams which I think is like more than half your your daily allowance according to whoever Okay, hmm. Yeah, that's got a really good red miso flavor to it. And um, I feel like the some of the onions are starting to come out too. That cooked in here. So, worth drinking. Um, not your toss away 
<laughs> ramen slop. So, would I get this? <clears throat> I paid an entire dollar fifty for this. I don't know if it's worth that. So, kind of like with the mama noodles that I, I did in my previous video, those were 50 cents. And I got a lot more out of it than I did with this. Uh, if you enjoy a miso ramen, perhaps this is for you. I just don't, <clears throat> I don't think this is worth a buck fifty. You know, it's just normal ramen in a cup. So, product of Vietnam. But when we started buying from the commies, but oh yeah, we're still buying from the commies. Um, Ride the Dragon Snapdragonfood.com. May have to check that out. Maybe there's some suggestions as to how to cook this better. But as for the other cooking instructions, hot water, pull back lid, empty contents, pour hot water to the fill line, close lid, and let stand for three minutes. Really no different from the microwave except in the microwave it is cooking the whole time that it's in there whereas if you pour boiling water in here that's cooling as it sits so which is the better method i'm gonna go with the microwave and uh yeah uh you know the, the three kernels of corn i don't know if that cost extra but it's not bad, it's just not worth the price. And I don't know what this goes for in the normal store that they sell these at, which I think might be Costco. So if you're at Costco and you see this, eh, it's uh, not great, not bad. It's uh, very mediocre and um, should have a lower price on it. Definitely not worth a buck fifty. Not that I'm complaining, it's it's food, got to do a video, my belly is uh, no longer angry at me, and um, actually I think my hangover is <laughs> going away, so maybe they can sell this as like a hangover treatment for guys that do three and a half hour long live feeds in the middle of the night chatting about conspiracy theories. That's posted. So, yeah. Not, not bad, not great. Mediocre. Not worth a buck fifty. Try it out if you want to. Uh, there's, there's really, hate to say it, nothing special here. Um, and unfortunately, that's what miso is known for, but I can make me some damn good miso. And, uh, Perhaps that'll be a future video. Let me know. Like and subscribe. Comment below if you'd like to see me make some homemade miso ramen. And um, keep in touch. Keep on typing.